With over 1,600 canals, bustling Bangkok is often called the Oriental Venice. The reality, however, is that these waterways are trash dumping grounds. So you'll see a lot of houses like this, where they've been built out onto the canal. And the problem with that is, is that they were built without proper infrastructure. So that means there's no uh, waste management, no drainage, no sewage. Um, so everything they produce goes into the canal. This Canadian activist cleans the canals with a team of eight people. This is one of our traps. Uh, we have three currently, and we'll be adding one more. Clearing these traps is an endless cycle. In almost four years, this NGO has collected more than 1,000 tons of garbage from the canal. Well, that's probably about 600 kilos. So this is quite average. This is an average day. Thailand produces 2 million tons of plastic waste annually, but only 25% is recycled. These bags are too dirty, so we wouldn't be able to recycle them. They've got a lot of food waste in them. Um, dirty polystyrene, so unfortunately this can't be recycled. If it was very clean, it could be. And just to see just the massive amounts of waste that people are throwing out um, without sort of a care of where it goes, it's, it's a bit disgusting, to be honest. Um, people think of the waste as disgusting, but it's more, I mean, the behavior is quite disgusting. There is no government regulation compelling ties to sort their own waste, which accumulates in open landfills. Plastic trash littering the streets is picked up by thousands of manual laborers and transported to privately owned facilities, where it is sorted one last time. Eventually, it is resold to larger recycling centers for two to five euros per kilo. Once processed, it will be used to produce new goods. We can barely pay our employees, but to make a profit, we depend on the international plastic market prices. The prices were disrupted when China decided in 2018 to ban the import of foreign plastic. This drove some Western countries to get rid of waste they can't recycle by selling it to Thailand. The result? A financial windfall, the primary beneficiaries being giants of the Thai plastic import industry. For those working hardest at the bottom of the chain, though, the influx of foreign waste feels unfair. It made the prices of plastic crash over the last six years. Today, when we resell the plastic, we sell it cheaper because the waste imported from abroad is also much cheaper. Collectors can no longer earn a decent living. So they change jobs, and nobody picks up the trash anymore. Since 2018, Thailand has been choking on plastic. Its plastic waste imports have increased tenfold. Its destination? A shipping port south of Bangkok. According to this trucker, who wished to remain anonymous, factories do not always recycle the imported waste. Instead, they often burn it, though it is against the law. Recycling plants pollute dust, chemicals, heat, everything. I don't feel great about it. It's like dumping poison in my home. Grave consequences, but a potential solution. To better manage the waste produced in Thailand, the government wants to ban the import of plastic waste by 2025. It wants to limit its industry to local plastic and stop being a dumpster for the West. Thailand doesn't need all this plastic. We can manage it ourselves. Why does it have to be imported from abroad? I don't think it should be imported. The government's promise to ban plastic imports has brought visibility to the issue, but hasn't driven improvement. Untreated waste is still thrown everywhere, seemingly without concern. A Buddhist monk shows us his solution. In his monastery, used plastic is transformed into fabric to make saffron robes. I am proud because at the beginning the villagers called me a liar, saying that making clothes from plastic was impossible, but now they send me bottles from everywhere. This monk is working hard to change society's mentality towards plastic reuse. 
When I see all this garbage, I think it's because the population doesn't feel responsible. If everyone became aware of the problem, there would be no more waste in nature. Today, Thailand no longer wants to be the world's trash can. Neighboring Malaysia and Vietnam are also sinking beneath the burden of foreign waste imports. These two countries are also among Asia's largest plastic waste importers. Thank <laughs> you.